everyone, and welcome to this rousing episode of Cooking with Game Changers! I am so anxious to see how our Game Changers will fare. So let's meet them first. The name is Shagun Dada. I'm co-founder and chief commercial officer at Capsa Technology. So, so first, with respect to my expectations for the show, and it depends on who my competition is, that would determine whether I win by a large margin or a slim margin. But either way, I'm sure I'm winning. Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of that buzzer tells us that our game changers have just... Five minutes to go! What is really strong here for me is the chicken. Mm. I really like the chicken. Both of them, I think they did very well with their presentation. Excellent plating. Um, it, it really looks very presentable. The ultimate game changer for today is... I'm Shay Banigbe, and you should know me from Binging with Game Changers. I'm here to introduce you to something new and scrumptious. We've been binging with Game Changers all the while, but now it's time to get cooking with Game Changers. Whoever bank is going up against, just get ready, because I mean, Team Sovereign Trust, we're coming, we're bringing our A game, so you better be scared. You need to watch your back, because Mr. Bankley is coming for you. I'm assuring you that Bankley is going to win the competition. Omoya um, Jebu is coming. So you better watch out. Eh? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see in the kitchen. See ya. Thank you. The name is Shagundara, co-founder, chief commercial officer at Capsa Technology. I'm a game changer. Come cook with me on cooking with game changer. My name is Shagun Dada. I'm co-founder and chief commercial officer at Capsa Technology. Educational background, I did my primary school at Christland in Ikeja Secondary School, Babinton Mokwali Junior Seminary. And then I studied computer engineering at Covenant University before proceeding to Lagos Business School to do an MBA in general business. Bonjour, Kemi. Je m'excuse, uh, Orientad. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Oui, la date hmm. La date d'aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi le 2 novembre 2023. So a typical day for me starts quite early. So I, I wake up and uh, do some meditation. Thereafter, I have, on certain days within the week, I have French lessons. So, le conjugué, um, premier group, um, verb, manger. So, je mange, tu manges. It's no joke. I want you to take it very seriously. I don't have enough time. Yes, yes, yes. Just before I'm done with the French lessons, I my daughter has to go to school. My wife typically handles a lot of, of that in the morning, getting her ready for school. Um, probably check on my daughter before she, she goes to school. Ready for school? Mm. <laughs> 
Bye, darling. Hey. And then head back for my 8 o'clock stand-up call with the commercial team. Hi, hi, guys. OK, thanks a lot. Um, thanks for staying back. Um, Cody, can you just kindly start by sharing um, where we're at um, from a numbers perspective? Just give me a high-level summary. After that is done, I go about my day with customer engagement or meetings. How I met my co-founders, Mustafa and Chuka, pretty simple business school. My name is Mustafa Subero. I'm the CEO co-founder of Capsa Technology. Um, prior to Capsa, I'd spent about eight years of my life um, in management consulting, as well as doing commercial and investment banking. So I had this very a strong flair for finance and how finance can be used as a tool to help businesses. Um, so, but before then, um, I, I had my undergraduate degree in economics and then proceeded to do an MBA at the Lagos Business School where I met my co-founders. And um, so yeah, I met in business school, be friends ever since then. And yeah, I did a couple of businesses on the side. And when it was time for CAPSA, we decided to do it together. It was pretty much a friendship that was preserved from business school and is still being sustained until now. So Shagun is that guy that walks into a room and can get everybody to pretty much sign a check for him, right? So that's not something I have. I'm the guy that wants to focus on the detail and ensure everything works out very well. Um, it's not every time you find People with that kind of experience, expertise, um, have a very good job in the corporate world and say, I want, I want to leave that and, 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 and do this. So that was it. All right. So um, what well, was there anything out of the secondary trades? Uh, yeah, we did about uh, 56 million in secondary trades for last month. So yeah, it was pretty good. And that's a pilot. OK, not bad for a final start. No. Cool. So if you ask me, why did I leave the corporate world? To, to do this, it's it's strictly trying to solve a problem and create value, not just for businesses, but sustainable value for multiple stakeholders, including myself in the long run. How did we get the startup capital? In summary, right? So we started out with a pile of cash that we've, we've put together and two got angel investments, as well as visa investments. And number three, supported by um, cash from the business operations. Um, that's the real yeah. we, we anchor body. So good. Um, we were able to successfully complete the collaboration agreement sign up, right? I mean, it's, it's been a few months um, coming. So that, that's a, a huge, huge success. And um, of course, it's testament to the hard work of the team. Um, so we've signed up the manufacturing conglomerate up north. Right. Ah, no, 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 not yet. It's in the cooler, right? And um, it's, it's 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 been a it's been a great ride. How did Capsa start? I mean, Capsa started as an idea from research Mustafa was working on, and he figured, oh my goodness, we've been getting it wrong with respect to providing capital for small businesses, invoice factoring is actually that missing link. And then we all came together, rallied around, pulled resources together, and then today we have CAPSA. And what we've done is we've created a platform, which is a technology solution that allows these businesses to sell their invoices to third-party financier at a discount. 
right? And I, I dare say though, with all level of humility, that our solution is the first in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, it's, it's the first of its kind that allows, uh, that has small businesses and multiple financiers or lenders on the platform trading or selling or buying invoices at the same time. So the small businesses for the first time are exposed to multiple financiers on a single platform. And as well, for the first time, they can decide what rates or what financing costs will be for them because they are not mandated to take a cost. They can select um, the cost from who offers them the best rates because we have a competitive bidding process. And more importantly, they get this money within 48 hours, which means rather than me having to wait 60, 90, 120 days, I can get my money from my invoice within 48 hours. So what we have seen happen to many businesses within our ecosystem is they now have increased capacity to do more, right? So rather than me making one supply in 90 days or in 60 days, now I can now make multiple supplies. On the average, we have businesses making up to four or five supplies in a month, right? And what that does is this business that now enhance, they grow, and then they also hire more people, right? So that's why I said earlier that our, our Capsa just empowers businesses, right? Because with the right working capital support, there's, a, there's no limit to how fast or how quick they can scale and grow. Chuka Midi, Chuka, how far? What makes up Capsa? Capsa Technology has three co-founders. So we have Mustafa, Chuka, and Shagun. Mustafa is an economics graduate, and he brings a lot of finance and investment knowledge into the business. Chuka is an engineer by training, but a brands guy <laughs> by association, by experience. So he gives a a sense of what the Capsa brand should be at every point in time. You're going to miss the you are going to you're going to miss the setup of the office at, at the way it looks like right now. Huh? How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I thought the meeting was for three. Oh for three? <laughs> it's three o'clock. It's three o'clock now. <laughs> I will blame Daniel. Don't worry. You, 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 you will not. You. you need to blame him. It's Daniel. I'll blame Daniel. So everybody. Of course. Ah, he yeah, chief blame officer. <laughs> Today, Samiat is going to be walking the entire team around the new sign-up process. How we've been able to simplify and beautify the sign-up experience of both current and potential users of the platform. Samia. OK, um, so what we worked on for last month is updating the sign-up process for vendors. So basically, we've made it more easier for people to be able to sign up and then updated our KYC mm. requirements as well. We're also working on... Um, they want to speak to, like, what are the key updates? OK, yeah, so um, now we are asking for complete CAC documents from Seven and a valid identification number, and then BVN of the director that would be of the company that will be signing up. OK, Chukadi, um, I think we're pretty much done. We're just wrapping up, so... But you can just hang up. Is there any other thing else you want to add? Hi, I'm Shea Banigbe, and I choose Power Oil because it has zero cholesterol, and this makes it great for the heart and good for my family. Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by Power Oil. And after the early part of my day, I have to create some time to go do pickup. So the way we do it, my wife does drop off, I do pick up. <laughs> so I have to find that time within the day to go and pick up our daughter from, from school. At least I get home and she's asleep. So that opportunity that I had to connect with her midday when she's done from school is golden and in many cases priceless because all of these things add up. And 
And after that, try to finish up whatever work is outstanding, if I have any late afternoon meetings and all. Hi, Shadow. Hey, hi, Samia. So, how are you doing now? Good. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so great job with the new sign-up process. It's a lot more seamless and user-friendly. So the vendors and um, um, financiers alike are, are, quite, are quite impressed. Yes, my name is Samiat Aremo. Um, the university I attended is University of Illinois. I studied chemistry. My role in CAPSA is a product manager. So um, I'm in charge of making sure that all of the products that we have work as they should, and then developing new products, going to, through market research, products that we think that would benefit our customers. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, just a few things to note, right? Is there any way that we can actually make the load time a lot faster? Oh yes, we're working, yeah, we're, we're working on that. Okay. So we're trying to reduce it to at least about like three seconds. Okay instead okay. of the five seconds okay. as it is right okay. now. Because it seems the folks that are using it on the app are a lot more impatient than those yeah. using it on the computer. Yes, we are working on so, that. Okay, 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 okay. That should be ready by next week, hopefully. Okay, next week, that's fine. I work with Shego on ensuring that the platform works as it should. His customers don't have any issues when they're trying to use the platform, when they're trying to, say, upload an invoice or take out their money after they have traded their invoice. That's fine. Um, is there any, but any, have you gotten any feedback from the rest oh, yes. of the um, Well, the people that have been using it, it's better than what it was. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. say that Much for sure. Better. It's very mm -hmm. better than what it was. So people are excited and we've been having more sign up with less help from our exactly. customer service people. So okay, okay, works, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the goal, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the punchline is that it's as easy as um, signing up onto a, an email. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like so. opening an email. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be any more difficult. Oh, no, no, it's, it's better, cool. we're cool. way better right now. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, really appreciate your help. Okay. Um, Shago is a very nice boss, he's, I would say I just joined CAPSA less than six months ago, and I would say that Shegun is one of the people that helped me transition easily into the work that I do. Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by To Shore. Once we're done with the monthly review today, I just want to go and clear my head and just enjoy a good round of golf. So really, really looking forward to that and just, just having a great time on the golf course. My hobbies are, I love books, right? <laughs> I love reading. And also I found in a, a, a decent level of love for golf, right? I've been playing golf for a bit now and it's also that avenue where you get to meet people. For me, golf is like, in many respects, work. <laughs> but should work, good work, and happy work because you get to exercise, meet people, 
and in many cases, you get to seal some deals on the golf course. Okay, who is my favorite Nigerian musician? So it's somewhere between Spyro, from an Afrobeat standpoint, and Asha, where she just gets you in that mood where you're just inspired by the lyrical excellence and and Spyro gets you moving. My favorite Nigerian dish is anything with fried plantain. Anything with fried plantain. Scrambled eggs, beans, rice. Just make sure <laughs> there's fried plantain and I'm your guy. Which of the co-founders would I like to represent Capsa to cook? Uh, Definitely has to be Shrego, there's no doubt about it. I mean, consistently he has shown that he has flair for that. Like I said, Shrego is the guy. Cooking with Game Changers is proudly supported by Aquafina. So which colleague will I bring to cook along with me on Cooking with Game Changers? It's definitely not Mustafa, and not Chuka either. <laughs> uh, I'm not the best when it comes to when it comes to food, making food or preparing food or kitchen activities. So I'm, I'm quite horrible. I, I, I take that. I think that I would be very great support for him while cooking this. I most likely. Would go with Samyat because the goal is to win, right? <laughs> I believe she has a lot to bring with respect to making whatever dish transit from imagination to reality. Whoever out there is looking at competing with Shego on this, I would say don't waste your time. Just pack up because there is no way Shego will win this. I have absolute confidence in his abilities. I think our opponent should be very worried because we have gone on YouTube to check different cooking blogs and we are very confident that we are going to win this show. With all due respect, don't bother showing up. <laughs> But on a serious note, we need, to, we need to connect and we need to be friends. He or she, we need to exchange numbers and, and be business acquaintances and call each other every now and then, talking about that contest that I won, you know, and then yes. So it's, it's good, it's good, it's good. I wish you all the very best in, um, in the contest, but I'm sure I'm winning. The name is Shagun Dada, co-founder, chief commercial officer at Capsa Technology. I want you to keep watching. Cooking with Game Changers. I'm excited to see what will come of it. I enjoy cooking, and it depends on who my competition is. That will determine whether I win by a large margin or a slim margin, but either way, I'm sure I'm winning. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this rousing episode of Cooking with Game Changers! The ultimate game changer for today is 